All right, so APS stands for Admission Point Score. So in addition to the subject requirements, universities also have an APS score requirement. So if you look at this example for a particular university, this university requires a code 5 for English, a code 4 for Mathematics, uh, or a code 6 for Maths uh, in order to uh, get admission into the Bachelor of Law. LLB degree, but they also require 35 points APS score. So this video, we're going to look at how to calculate this uh, APS score. All right, so uh, for most universities, calculating the APS score is easy. So they simply use your code. So if you get a code 1, you get 1 point. If you get a code 2, you get 2 points. If you get a code 3, and so forth. And of course, if you get a code 7, you'll get 7 points. But if you get an A+, plus, in other words, from 90 to 100, uh, there's also a code 7, but because it's an A+, plus, you get 8 points. And that is the maximum number of points uh, that you can get. So your best 6 subjects, they're added, but excluding LO. So LO is not added in calculating this APS score. So most of the universities work out the APS score like that so all the universities that you see popping up on your screen right now they all calculate the APS score like this by simply adding the codes of your best six subjects all right let's look at an example here we have a learner these are the marks for this learner all right so if we wanted to calculate the APS score for this particular learner we would simply add the codes but not the LO code so we're not going to add the LO so we add the other six subjects, so we add 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 6. So if you add all those codes, you will find that the APS score for this learner is 37 points. So that is basically how you calculate your APS score. Uh, now VETS, UWC, CPUT and UCT do not use this method. And uh, those four universities I will cover in a separate video. But for most universities, this is how you calculate your APS score. Thank you.